Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode 6 of my Neo Network Skyblock Let's Play. If you guys missed episode 5, please go and watch that. I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, so go pause it, watch it, and then come back. Alright, if you did that, thank you. Welcome back to episode 6. If you didn't, just ignore all that. But yeah, this is my server, Neo Network, that I have created for all of you watching to play on with me. It's pretty awesome, man. You can play on both Java and Bedrock Minecraft, both versions of Minecraft work. Uh, the IP to connect to the server is down in the description and the top pinned comment down below. So this is what we did yesterday. Uh, not yesterday, well, kind of. We did this in episode five, the last episode. We created this big jungle area around here. We're still waiting on the grass to grow. We created little mob spawner areas for each of the tier of spawner, which is super cool. Uh, we are missing the seventh tier, but I don't know if we'll ever get that much. But yes, they're pretty cool. They look pretty good. Nice little treehouse vibes. I am a big fan. I'm a huge fan. I think it looks really cool. One more little thing. I do have something to tell you guys. So I'm training a media team here on Neo Network. So these are, you know, new creators who want to, you know, get a big channel and want to do this full time for a living. And uh, I, you know, convinced them all somehow to do Let's Plays as well during this season. And if you guys would like to check out those Let's Plays, you can find the links to their channels down in the description below. It would mean the world to them and to me if you would go and check them out. And, uh, you know, if you're missing Skyblock content and you want to see more from other creators, that's a good way to do it. There's tons of talented people there. Everyone knows it's kind of hard to start on YouTube nowadays. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys would go and check their channels out as well. Again, links to all of them are down in the description below. Okay, so what are we going to do in this episode? Well, we can go ahead and remove episode 5 stuff because we did it all already. Cool. And let's check out episode 6. So we'll make an herbalism tower farm, which is going to be pretty cool. Make a public area for you guys to chill out at. And we're going to do personal missions. Bray. So it's going to be pretty fun. I have not done any of these missions. Like if you do slash missions, I really have not done hardly any of them. Um, you can see we're in tier one and we have pretty much done none of them, which is funny. So we're going to go do all of these. We also want to get the farmer's harvester mastery tool. So it's going to kind of help us with all of these. Like for example, use this command slash sky coin list. So slash sky coin list right there. And we just completed that one. Cool. Okay. So to start off, we're going to make an herbalism tower farm. Now to do that, we're going to need a bunch of jungle logs. And I actually have a pretty good, I think I have a pretty good idea of how to make this thing. Um, and it's going to be kind of kind of a hack, man. You know, I'm going to become a hacker for today's episode. Uh, but yeah, cocoa beans are a really good source of herbalism XP. So I just wanted to make a little tower farm. And uh, it actually makes it super easy. I'll show you how to use it. And it's kind of OP. So everything that's ugly and that we're just like farming, we're just going to put below here. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to need to grab like a few logs. But for the most part, we should be able to grow the rest of them. So we don't have to actually mess with too much of it. And I'm probably going to want to make a, quite a quite a few pair of shears here too. Probably more than we have there. Because we can combine these for the durability. But it's really not that many. Oh, it's really not that many. So we'll go ahead and make like three more pairs here or something like that. Okay. Do we have any jungle wood? We have a little bit. Not very much at all. So my plan to make this is to basically make like, I don't know, here. Let me <laughs> Let me just show you. So it's going to be a giant farm that you just look straight down and mine, and then you got to go back and, you know, replant it, of course. But the idea I had was to, like, build down like this, right? And then, like, grow a tree, and that way I don't have to, you know, place nearly as much wood by hand. Is this quicker? I don't actually know. <laughs> Hopefully it is. If it's not, we'll, we'll do it another way, but check this out. Okay, so we're back down here. Put the saplings down and then plant them. And this may end up taking longer because of all the little things that'll kind of grow off to the side. But this will help us get our herbalism XP, which is going to be super duper helpful just for getting um, the ability to auto replant. Yeah, I think this may end up taking a little bit longer because I got to shave off all of these leaves. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go up there and farm a bunch of wood by hand and then just place it. Probably end up doing something like that. So give me a second. I'm going to shave off all these uh, little tree limbs and stuff. Okay, well, I hopefully have farmed enough to get all the way down there. I'm sure I have. That was like at least seven or eight trees. So let's see here. Oh, no. Repaired my tools as well. Everything's looking spick and span, nice and clean. Okay, so I'm going to build this all the way down to the void. Looks like we still have a little bit of dirt here, which is fine. So I'm going to build this all the way down to the void on all four of these. Not going to make you watch that, but I will do it, rest assured. 
Okay, and then the last log goes right there. Okay, we'll throw out the extras, grab all of our cocoa beans. We probably don't have nearly enough, but we do have a good bit. So the idea, right, is to put the cocoa beans all the way up this thing, and then you essentially set your home on top of it, and you just mine all the way down, and then when you fall into the void, it'll teleport you to your island home. And so you can get herbalism XP like super duper easily. Now, obviously, I'm going to just come up here, and then what you do, you just look down in the middle like this, you just do IS set home like this. Every time you teleport to your island, it'll go to your IS set home. And then I just have to put cocoa beans going up and down this entire thing. So I'll be right back because, again, that's super grindy. Not going to make you guys watch that. Trust me. I don't subject my viewers to visual torture. I only show you the cool stuff. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. Okay, now I don't have enough cocoa beans to go up this entire thing. But I think you kind of get the point, right? This thing will be something you just like stand on top of one of the rows and you just mine straight down. Pretty mindless. You do have to replant it, which is the hardest part, but you can also see cocoa beans grow like super duper fast. Now we do have an IS upgrade. We could probably give ourselves for, oh, we don't, we don't have enough sky coins. Whoops. <laughs> but yes, you can see our island crop growth rates at level five, which means we have a 40% increase uh, over the vanilla growth rate. So we'll just let those grow and then we'll replant the other side uh, later on when we have more cocoa beans. Okay. So we have the tower farm built. So let's go ahead and take that off of our, so, oh, we don't have the public area built, so we'll we'll uh, leave that there for now we will build like a house and a chest storage system soon because i know this is absolutely painful i don't like these spaghetti chests either i, I promise it, it annoys me just as much as you probably make want to make an area for the lucky block as well uh we haven't really broken it but that's, a, that's okay okay well let's just do some p missions so you can do slash p mission to get in there really quick this one's probably one that we want to work on first. So what we're going to do is grab a bunch of dirt. And, uh, oh, we have a ton. Let's go. And then I think for once, we have everything we need for the most part. We do need a diamond hoe, which I think I might have gotten from my wither rose kit. No, I did not. Do I have one? If not, I swear to God, at some point I had one. But, oh, I may have used it to craft these sugarcane minions. Which, by the way, we should check our mastery here and see how far progressed we are. So let's go into here and sugarcane we're still at level four almost a level five like literally a hundred away cool so what what did the p mission say again just so i know which crops to do so carrots potatoes wheat and beetroot okay so all the crop crops okay cool and we are going to need light for them so i'm going to build them off to the side over here just so i because i don't have lightless crops yet that is an upgrade you can get but i do not have it quite yet so this is like kind of where we can start it we could probably even go like one block in okay so I'm just going to build a bunch of little row farms here because it doesn't look like it's very many at all. Uh, but we are going to need to get those tiers to unlock. If you look in masteries to unlock this, you need to do six. And I believe that's four, right? In the P missions, I think it's having us do four crops. Yes. Okay. And so what will end up happening is this one is already tier one. So we'll do these four and then we'll need just need one more and we'll do like melons or something or maybe cocoa beans actually. Yeah, cocoa beans will work. So that means we have all six if we if we do all these. Okay, cool. I want to do two rows per or three rows per crop. So three, six, seven, eight, nine. So th one row. So that'd be three plus three plus three plus. Okay, that was that's one too many. There we go. So just to verify, so that's one crop, two crop, three crop, and four crop. So a three row for each. Um, I did check in my overflow. I'd forgotten. I actually have a treasure chest, and I have a... Uh, I don't know where this piece of beef came from, but I guess I completed daily missions sometime whenever I was, like, farming uh, or, or fishing. So I don't know what we're going to get, but... Oh, 500k? Yeah, I'll take that. And then what are we going to get from the treasure chest? Please, something good. 25k sky coins. I will, of course, take 25k sky coins. Okay, so I'm going to make these really, really long. So I'm not going to make you watch that. I'm just going to build them like super duper long. Uh, probably to the island borders. And then I will come back whenever that's done. And then we will start uh, working on some more missions. Because this one, obviously, you have to let all of them grow. So it's not something you can just work on immediately. But yeah, I'll come back after this is uh, built. Okay, guys, we're well, just putting the finishing touches on here, and there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was done. Okay, one second, one second. Okay, now the finishing touches are done. Okay. So, 
Now I need to craft a hoe, till all of that, buy all the seeds. The seeds are going to be kind of expensive. I mean, we have $767,000, but we may need to farm a little, or not farm a little bit, fish a little bit, my bad, so that we can get enough money, because whether you want to believe it or not, crops are expensive to buy, just because they multiply, so you want to make them expensive at first, just, you know, so people don't just buy a giant field and not have to, like, you know, grind to get that. This is going to be the most painful part, telling this entire thing, so wish me luck. I do have, everyone has waterless crops. You do not have to use water on the server. Um, just because, you know, it's kind of a hassle. Also just makes things super easy. There is an upgrade where you can get lightless crops. So if you do slash NV or slash N, Jesus, night vision. And I turn it off. You can see that this is super dark. Sugarcane doesn't take light to grow normally. But if we had crops here, they would still grow if we had that uh, IS upgrade right here, level two, which is lightless crops. Back to night vision though. Because I, you know, I'll, I'll remember, but a lot of, we, we get a lot of like tickets where people are like, my crops don't grow. And then we're like, look up and take a screenshot and there's something above them. And they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> and we're like, all right, have a good day. <laughs> they're like, sorry for wasting your time. We're like, no, no, not at all. We, we do it all the time. I do it all the time. No worries. But yeah. If you guys ever have problems on the server, please do go on the discord link in the description. Uh, the official Neo Network Discord is linked in there. And please do make a support ticket. We respond to every single one. We get them all worked out in under a day. Every single one. Uh, we got an amazing staff team here. Absolutely incredible group of people that work tirelessly to make sure you guys have the best experience possible. Okay, time to till. Okay, well, we have all of these crops now ready to be planted, which is nice. I, I'm just going to throw that off the edge. They're super cheap. You can get diamonds really easily. Let's go check in P missions one more final time just to see which crops it is. So carrot, potato, wheat, beetroot. So if we go in the shop, carrot, potato, beet, wheat, beetroot. So we need a stack of seeds here. It's 288K. You see what I mean? Beetroot seeds, a stack. That's a lot of money. Uh, carrot and then potato. Oh my gosh. I don't have enough money to buy a stack of carrots. You see what I mean? Super expensive. So let me get these and then the potatoes. So luckily for me, see, look at that, dude. We have $4,000. We're now broke, but we can fish and get the money pretty quickly. So wheat, beetroot, carrot, and potato. Exactly like that. Hopefully that makes sense why I made it like this, just so that we have rows. Uh, these ones are wheat, right? Yeah, okay, these are wheat. This is beetroot. The crops are not like very obvious with what they are, so it's kind of tricky, okay? Don't... Don't get all be too hard for that. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back in a bit. Again, just, just a little more off camera work. Just got to plant all these. So like I said, we definitely don't have enough crops, but it's okay. Uh, we, we have them planted. They will grow and we can work on other missions while we wait. Or we could, you know, fish for a little bit, get some money. Let's just check out what the other personal missions are. Okay, so I'll just kind of go in an order. Mining, we've already completed that one. Huntsman, kill 30 sheep. Um... I'm pretty sure we could do that in about two seconds. So let's go over here and let's wait for some sheep to spawn. Grab my trusty old sword with no enchants at all. I'm not gonna waste like money on enchants before I get like a farmer's harvester and a super pickaxe. And uh, what is the other one? The slayer blade, which is the sword equivalent. So we just need to kill 30 sheep. There's 16 of them down. We'll wait for more to spawn and then we should be good. Luckily, I think, yeah, this has a fire aspect too. So we actually just get food. I don't know why I was smelting. <laughs> I was smelting stuff before. Okay, close. I think we need literally how many? Like three more? We need seven more sheep. Come on, buddy. Come on. Become the number seven. You know you want to. There we go. And there we go. Completed Huntsman. Nice. I love the new missions, man. And there's 10 tiers of them, dude. And they're all really engaging. Okay, 30 minutes on the island. We've already done that one. Banker, sell items with 20. Sell. Okay, we've already done that one, done that one, that one. Uh, visit. Oh, yeah, we've already been to the D-Boss Arena. So which ones have we not done? The Potion Master. Okay, we've done the voting one. We've done the construction one. Okay, so craft three glass bottles. Oh, yes. This, this one is going to be the one that kills me. This is so difficult. Okay, so let's go in here. We'll just buy a stack of glass. Luckily, we had enough money. Um... Okay, there we go. And we completed it and we got a brewing stand. Nice. I believe that means everything on here is complete. I'm 99, no, incomplete farmer. Oh, that's right. The one we're waiting on. We could technically use bone meal and speed this up, which is probably what I'm going to do. But, oh yeah, we have we have a bunch of bone meal. We don't really need the mutton and stuff. It's, it's not really worth keeping. I'll sell this. 
and then the wool. And then I assume we're going to need to use the brewing stand. So I'll just go ahead and just plop it down real quick. Again, I'm going to build a house at some point, maybe in this episode, maybe not. But we really do at some point need to have a house because it's ridiculous putting stuff just on a chest. We have this nice big island and no home. What is that, man? What is that? So I don't remember. I think it was like farm 10 of each. So it's like, why did these take so many bone meals to grow? You see that? Bruh, it's beetroot. Like the worst food in the game. It takes... It's like, like 45 of them. Okay, so that's 10 wheat, I believe. Okay, and then of course we get a bunch of extra seeds. You probably, you want to mine it with a fortune three tool. That's going to give you the maximum amount of stuff. You can see how much it expands with just that many crops have grown. It expands like double the amount. We'll go ahead and break these here as well. And then beetroot expands like crazy, but beetroot's just a terrible, like, even in vanilla Minecraft, I remember I was going to try to do something different in this Let's Play, you know, whatever Let's Play it was I was on, and I wanted to start eating beetroot soup, and it was terrible, it's like worse than mushroom soup, and it's such a pain to grow, and I was like, why? Why would anyone subject themselves to this? See, carrots grow nice and quick, and they're so much better, especially if you have a gold farm or something, you know what I mean? You, you can just make those really, really easily, and they multiply super duper fast. Okay, so the reason you want to get these mastery tools is like, for example, it'll tell you why, but this can get up to, I think, yeah, farm fortune 25. It's basically like looting or fortune 25, but for crops. So you'll break like one crop and get like a whole stack, if that makes sense. Uh, I think we have a little bit more bone meal because, yeah, we only need to do the potatoes now. Come on, please. New pair of shoes. We got to have some bone meal. Let's go. Okay, perfect. And that'll mean the first tier P missions are complete. We'll go as far as we can. Because, I mean, honestly, these ones did not take that long. There was a couple of prerequisites, like getting this done. Uh, prerequisites. Sorry, I've always said that word wrong. So that's 10. Okay. It should be complete unless I messed up. Is there one of these that I did not do? Six. Harvest 10 carrots. Oh, yeah, we didn't do 10 carrots, did we? And then 10 beetroot. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Okay, so 10 carrots. There we go. Okay, then beetroot, we just need one more. Okay. Oh, it's probably harvest 10 beetroot and not everyone gives you a beetroot or something. Then what's the last one? 10 carrots, okay. Which one is the carrot? This one right here, okay. Uh, boom, there we go. Okay, we have completed it, nice. Let's go, dude. And uh, I don't, where did we get more bone meal? Maybe we had already had it, I have no idea. But I am gonna grow the potatoes out just because those are like the crop we have the least of. And then what's the other one we have the least of? This right here. So we'll go ahead and just grow these out a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure you guys kind of know what I mean because whenever you like farm potatoes or whatever, like look how many potatoes we got. We got almost two stacks of potatoes from just like a tiny little line of like 30 potatoes. Like potatoes are so nice. Now, I think the best crop to farm is potatoes, like I'm pretty sure, um, because they can give you poisonous potatoes, which, you know, are like an extra drop, and those can give you a lot of extra money. Some people argue that the carrot is better. I don't know. Carrots or potatoes, one of the two are definitely the best crop to farm. But also, you have to keep in mind now that we have sugarcane that's waterless, so sugarcane can be a pretty good crop too. But, you know, this has a chance to drop by default like five potatoes on a crop break. So five times, you know, fortune 25 is a lot more than this is only one every time. So you can see why it would technically be better. Um, there's also an enchant you can put on boots called agile, you know, so you don't like end up breaking any of the crops or the, or, or, or you don't break the farmland. And I was looking on AH and I believe it's pretty cheap. I think I saw one for like super duper cheap. No, we don't have any money. We're literally broke, but like we could pay $5,000. Oh, we could pay $5,000 for that. Granted, it is like a 1% chance, so what you do, if it's a book that bad, go to the... Oh, you gotta hold it in your hand. Go to the item shop, go to the re-roll, and that one was a terrible re-roll, so we'll do it again. 86% chance? I mean, that's pretty good. So we'll go in our PV1. If we break the boots, we break the boots. I'm really not too concerned. And there we go, successfully applied. So now, whenever you fall on a crop, it doesn't break it. So now, we'll always have little stylish shoes on too, which is pretty cool, man. Our feet are protected. Okay, well, let me plant these crops, then we'll get on to the next tier. I'm excited to see what the next tier of missions is like. Hopefully, it's not a bunch more farming, because this may take a minute for it to grow. But we'll, we'll find out together, man. We'll find out together. Okay, so everything is planted nicely. And if we do sell, and we can sell all the extra stuff we got. Wow, look at that. A hundred bucks, man. A 
hundred whole bucks. Okay, so tier one, they're all complete. Tier two, so it kind of looks like, okay, so place five water buckets, place 25 sugar cane. We could do that in like two seconds. Mining, that's pretty easy. Huntsman, now this one's a little bit difficult because, you know, like I'm not going to take three hours to make one episode, but we'll compl th that'll be what holds us back. So we'll at least get this entire tier done. Kill Tin, that's really easy. That's really easy. That's super easy. That's super easy. Yeah, dude, this is all super, super easy. Now, I don't think you can do slash fish cell anymore. Fish cell. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I think it was fixed, so I don't know. We'll find out whenever we get to the mission. Okay, well, now what we're going to do now is we are going to... Hold on. Which part of this are we going to do first? The sugarcane one. Okay, we need to get some water buckets. Let's go in the shop. Hopefully we have enough money for just... Is it place five water buckets? One, two, three, four, five. Now, where is somewhere we can place them where it won't matter? Like in this, right? So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, let me look in here again. Okay, so we have... Oh, it says place 5, but then it says 10. Hold on. Let, let me tell the devs. Okay, so apparently both of those like missions will track, but the lore is messed up, so you actually do have to place 5 water buckets, which is fine. It's really, it's really super inconsequential. Just a visual bug. Because all these missions are new for this season, and there was a lot of them, so it takes a long time to do to actually put them all in the game. Okay, there we go. So that part of the mission is done. So we just need to break uh, 100 sugarcane and place 25 sugarcane. I think we could do that. Should not be too hard for us with our massive sugarcane farm. So we need to actually place some. So we'll go ahead and break it down all the way here. Okay, and then that should be at least 25, probably. Uh, no, we need to break 100, place 25, okay. Let me go ahead and grab this. So breaking a hundred is pretty easy. We just have to do this. That is probably easily a hundred, right? Yep. Okay. And then we just need to place 25 sugar cane. So uh, we'll have to collect all this. Okay. So let's go ahead and see. It doesn't make a noise when you place it because we have the waterless sugar cane upgrade. So it's a little... There's no noise. I'm pretty sure that's it. No, it would have dinged for us. Ah, oh, two more pieces. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. There we go. Oh, and it gave us 64 bone meal. Nice. Okay. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right. So mining, that'll just take two seconds just sitting here at my mine. So I'm going to mine for just a little bit and then I'll come back again. I don't really love this mine. It does work really well, but for me, it's like it like bugs me a little bit. I don't know why. Okay. I'm just, I'm just kind of weird, but yes, I'll come back when that mission's complete. Okay, there we go. We just completed mining. Nice. And I'm actually kind of liking this thing. Now that I've sat here for longer, I'm actually kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of enjoying it. I know I said I didn't like it at first, but I don't know. Maybe it's kind of growing on me. Maybe it's because I didn't really have to use it for anything at first, but it's super duper fast. I'm sure there's a ton more stuff we can sell here. Again, not trying to do this for money, just doing it for the missions. I don't need 10 buckets, if I'm completely honest. I'm really, I am really happy though. This island, dude, it looks so good. I will open it up to the public and you guys can come here and you can come, you know, help me grind to get to the next tier of spawners. Uh, now, of course, uh, I may, may, maybe we'll do that at the end of this video because I, I don't want you guys coming here and grinding the first tier of spawners on the second week because it's kind of whack that I'm still so far behind. But anyways, now we got to kill 150 pigs and 150 sheep, which of course are the, we do have quite a few pigs, but not a quite a few uh, sheep spawners. So it might take a little bit. But I'll go ahead and butterfly click real fast. People are always like, Neo, how fast can you butterfly click? I can peak at like 14 CPS, and then I can hold about 8 steady. Somewhere about there. So people always ask me, and then I can jitter click like, like that fast. So not, I'm really not the fastest clicker at all. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we've done that part of it. Let me just check real quick. Yep, 150 pigs, and then... The sheep are going to take a little bit longer because we only have like seven of the spawners, but it's okay. I'll do it off camera and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, and here are the last sheep I need. And there we go. We got Huntsman. Let's go, dude. Kind of kind of blowing right through this. Again, this one's going to take a little bit longer, but it's okay. Sell an item on AH. Okay. Make $50,000. We can do that with like literally one fish, I bet. And we can knock out that fishing mission. Okay, so sell one thing on AH. Uh... Slash H 
hand one dollar. Someone, someone, please buy my slash ah for. Oh, someone, someone already did it. Uh, <laughs> or no, wait, 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 wait. Did someone buy it already? Oh yeah, just sold one. Thank you. Okay, so if we do slash p mission and we go back, that means we have completed that one. Okay. And now we get to make $50,000, which I can do in like 0.2 seconds. And literally all I have to do is catch like probably one fish. Yo, what's up guys? Everyone say hi to me in the chat. Let's see, can we do it on the first fish? Make $50,000, probably. Uh, no, not with that one. One centimeter and one centimeter. We're not even gonna sell that, dude. That's not even worth selling, man. Um, we will hop in the boat, because technically the boat makes it a little bit quicker, I think. And then some people think that if you like make it rain on your island too, it's faster. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not trying to like max efficiency fish at the moment. I might just go down here and grab the, the salmon because I think I do need it. Oh, I thought I had a fish. Can I fish from like underwater? It's like a genuine question. I mean, I have no idea. Obviously, I'm going to drown at some point. Oh, there we go. But you can't see. <laughs> you can, but you can't actually see anything, which makes it difficult. Won't let you see those water particles. Okay. Is that 50k worth of fish? Not even close. Come on, give me give me something crazy. A crab? A crab? That's not good at all. Um, a chicken spawner. Where did we get a chicken spawner? Oh, it must have been from one of the quests. So let's go put that down. Might as well not waste it because we do have chickens somewhere right there. Okay, nice. Yep, so let me fish a little bit. I'll get enough in my inventory. I, I forget. I think there's a mission called Gone Fishing as well that we need to do. Yeah, so we'll have, to, we'll have to catch 25 fish. Okay, cool. And then I'll be right back. So in the mission, it tells you, tells you to use slash fish sell. Don't do that. Uh, you, do, you can just do slash sell. And this will for sure be $50,000. So we got banker and gone fishing done all at once, which was just super simple. It's nothing difficult. Just selling and then making some money from stuff you sell. Okay. So sky high. Earn 2,500 sky coins. We've already completed that one. Expertise earned 3,000 pig mastery points. We're halfway there, so we can go do that real quick. Uh, tool or armor pieces with two vanilla enchants. That's actually pretty simple to do. I'm going to get all the pig mastery that we need because we only need 150 more, so watch this. We'll go ahead and grind through them real fast. I'm going to click as fast as I can. And it should be done now. Now. Come on, bruh. Please. Please. Yo, I see Schmeck voted. Thank you for the vote. There we go. Expertise. Okay, and then we'll just literally... I think it said one tool. If it's not, we'll just check just to be sure. I clicked on the wrong tier. Oh, okay. Um, oh, just the single tool? Okay, we'll just do slash enchant and do the cheapest things. We'll just do smite and unbreaking. We literally don't need those. And it also gives us a basic enchant book. And we got ethereal 2 don't really want that so we'll go ahead and just anvil that baby okay on to the next we're rolling through these man um boss fighter kill 10 shadow summoners we can do that i even have a set of wither rose armor from fishing pretty nice that i got that so let's just do fisherman's dream yeah it's really not very good because <laughs> we already have something so much better it does technically have a higher level of luck of the sea but eh, we're okay we're okay. All right, so let's do slash D boss. Let's go there and let's kill 10 shadow summoners. Now the D boss arena was built mainly by Cairo and then the other staff team or Cairo kind of headed up the project. But yeah, this season's D boss arena is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful, man. I, I absolutely am just floored every time I step foot in here. It is such a nice area. So we got to kill 10 of these bad boys. They're really not that hard. You just want to make sure they don't start hitting you because Endermen do do a lot of damage. So if you can crit them and kind of keep them away from you, it's pretty easy. And we literally only have to kill 10 of them, so it'll take like two seconds. We're not going to steal his kill. Oh, dude, isn't it nice looking in here, though, man? I think so. Got little geodes on the walls. There's a couple of secret spots in here. If you find them, let me know in the comments. Go exploring in Demons a little bit. We could try to fight a dragon boss, but like I don't, I don't have a bow at all. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're attacking, too. That's when it gets a little tricky. Ugh, ugh. Don't hit me. Oh, I think they lost interest. Or no, I think I killed him with my fire aspect. Okay, nice. Um, should only be a few more. So let's go see if we can find some. 
I remember setting up all the Enderman spawns in here, or, or I remember seeing where they were gonna be set up, so there- Oh! Gotta save him! Gotta save him! Oh, we saved someone! Okay, we've killed seven, it says at the top. Okay, so we need to kill three more. Okay. Oh, that was two. That was three! I don't think I can handle three. Sometimes they don't hit you. It just depends on how the AI is feeling at the moment. I'm not sure why it's like that, but it's always been like that. Okay, so there's ten. We did boss fighter. Let's go. Okay, so what is the next personal mission? Construction. Craft eight furnaces, place eight furnaces. Pretty easy. Okay, back to the island we go. Hey, look, and it reminded me to break these. So we'll go ahead and do that now, too. So just stand, like, right in the middle and just hold your axe down. Isn't that cool? You might want to wait a second for, for the stuff to, uh... Oh, and you can see we have herbalism level 300. Oh, I don't know why I don't have fly on, but... You can see we have herbalism 300, so it is planting back some of them, but not all of them. And once you get to herbalism 1000, it will plant back everything, which is super nice. So you want to make sure you wait, because sometimes the crops will not catch up to you. Okay. Here we go, so we're almost there. This is kind of satisfying to do. You just hold your axe down, and you want to fly at the very end, because otherwise you'll fall in the void. Okay. And then, yeah, when if you want to get back to the top, boom, just follow the void. And you just go, isn't that nice? I saw someone make a comment about this. And so I was like, heck yeah, dude, I'm going to do it. Okay. Nice. You can see it kind of catching up with us. And so this will help you get your herbalism up pretty quick. The, the first, like, 500 levels come pretty quickly, but then it starts slowing down quite a bit. Um, and look, look how many stacks of cocoa beans we have. So I'll take the time and replant these real quick, and then I'll come back, and we will continue on with the missions. I forget what we were working on. Can we do it while we're doing this? It was... Oh, yeah. Place eight furnaces. Now we... <laughs> well, <laughs> that's so hard. Oh, my gosh. A whole stack of cobblestone. Anyways, let me plant. All right. Well, there we go, guys. We have two or three of the four sides now placed. It's going to be super nice for herbalism, guys. Highly recommend making yourself a cocoa bean tower farm. All right. Now for a stack of cobblestone... To go in the way to go in the trash. Okay, we crafted eight. We will now place eight, and now we will break eight and th throw them in the void. <laughs> we already have our furnaces, our, our nice trusty ones. I mean, we might as well keep them, right? I mean, it can't hurt to keep them. We already had twenty crafted. Okay, so what is the next thing? Okay, farm thirty nether wart. Ooh, we don't have any nether wart. Okay, yeah, that's that's a little tricky. Craft three cauldrons, place three cauldrons. That's fairly simple to do. Okay, so for three of them, just like this. And we need to place three. Boom, boom, boom. And then we need to farm nether wart. So we'll just go in the shop. We'll go, I think it's actually in the farming section. Okay. I don't know. How many did it say again? I know I have short-term memory loss, dude. I can't remember. Okay, so 30 nether warts. We need to buy 30 of these, which is kind of expensive, man. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and just buy it. Might as well. Can't hurt to start farming it now, right? So there's 30 of that, but the hard part is going to be buying 30 nether work because they're 3,000 apiece. I think we're going to run out of money. Nope, had just enough. Okay, so now we have 30 soul sand and 30 nether wart. I will go ahead and just put them down here near my farm, or literally at my farm. I hope I bought the right kind of stuff to plant the nether wart. I really don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's this. Yes, okay. And then we will just plant all of this, wait for it to grow up, and then we can break it. Okay, so that's all the missions that we can do for now. I don't believe we missed any, uh, at least to my knowledge. Complete, complete. Oh, this one's incomplete. That, oh, that's the playtime. Okay. Everything else is complete. So now we're just waiting for the farm 30 uh, nether wart. Cool. All right, so we'll wait for that to happen. Uh, I guess what we can do now is build a house somewhere. I don't really know where to build a house, though. I, I feel like... I feel like this will always be my kind of my home fishery, right? But I don't know. I feel like we should have a cool house somewhere. I just don't know where to put it. Maybe on the ground. Like I feel like it needs to be. I feel like it needs to be around here. So we'll go ahead and chop this tree down. Actually, we'll we'll chop both of these trees down real quick. Craft a pair of shears because I do have everything turned off as far as leaf decay. So we'll break this tree right here, and then maybe this is a big enough area. I might as well break this little dude too. I mean, it honestly looks, honestly looks exactly like a normal jungle at this point. And then we'll have to break these. Super duper easy to do. Okay. And then we'll break this one right here. 
Maybe. I don't know. If we need more room, we'll break it. So let me see if I can figure out how to build a house. I mean, I know how to build... <laughs> I know how to build a house, you know, I built my fair share of houses, but I'm trying to decide how we want to build it, how we want to build it, and out of what materials. We don't have any jungle wood. That's right, we planted it all. Well, we do have a stack of bone meal from one of the quests, so I'll just make a bunch of jungle trees, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get cooking on that. I want, honestly, I want an area easier to do this, so I'm going to grab some dirt, and then we're just going to go kind of far away. I don't know how far do we have on this side. Probably not very far. I think this side we have the most room. Just so that when I farm the trees, they don't have to deal with, like, remembering what was where. Okay, so we'll go, like, over. I don't want any I don't want any part of it to go outside the island border. Just, like, over here is more than far enough. Okay. So I'll grow these, farm these, and I will come back in just a bit. I forgot when I turned leaf decay back on that all these would disappear. So I've been going around and replacing all those. But it looks like we got it done. Not sure why they're disappearing. I feel like they're near enough to logs, but I guess technically not. Anyways, we got enough wood, which is good. I'm not exactly sure how I want to make this thing look. I may actually want a few jungle leaves, and we don't need, like, that or that. Don't need that or that, that. Uh, we'll do H token convert, just so we can get a few head tokens. Um, okay. So, if you want to spend your head tokens, just go in the H shop. You can buy boosters. You can also buy little decorative heads and stuff. Pretty fun. Especially if you're decorating a house or something, that can be a lot of, there's a lot of really useful stuff in there. Okay, we'll grab some glass. And I don't believe I have any more mossy cobble, but it's okay. We can buy it. It's super duper cheap. Okay, so a couple stacks of that. We'll go ahead and make a few stairs. Something like that. We're gonna buy more. That was not enough. Okay. So I wanna make like a little, uh, oh, we don't have enough money. Oh. Hmm. Let me sit back in my chair, get in my thinking mode. Probably can get enough money by fishing. I mean, that's like a really quick way for me at least to get money. So I'm going to do IS settings and I'm going to turn it to rain for maximum efficiency. I'm going to sit in my boat and I'm going to fish. I'll be back in a bit. I don't know why. I guess it's just the way it is. But like whenever you need something, you know, like when you, for instance, when you're looking for something that you lost, you can't find it. Well, when I'm looking for some cash, I can't find it, dude. I'm getting the worst fish, man. I've been fishing this whole time. Like, okay, it's, it hasn't been that long. Maybe I'm being a little, a little over dramatic. Okay, I think we can afford another stack of cobblestone, which should be good. Yes, we can. Yes, okay, we bought it. We have 8K. We Oh, we did get a treasure chest. Never mind. Maybe this will be the redemption here. What are we going to get? A wither rose kit. <gasps> dude, let's go. What the heck? I'm curious on AH, what is a wither, I wonder if people are selling the whole kit anywhere. No, it doesn't look like it. We'll do slash auction hand, we'll sell it for a, we'll sell it for $250,000. We'll say wither rose kit on slash AH, good price, I swear. Maybe we can sell that and get some money. Um, okay, and then let's start building the house. I think we're going to build it over here, right? So I'm not sure exactly how we want to do this. Hey, someone bought it. Let's go. Yay, it sold. Thank you. I hope people aren't just buying it because, you know, it's me and, and, and they want to be like, I want to help the Neo-Cubist. I want people to to give me a fair, a fair shake. Okay, I don't want people to just give me stuff. Yeah, we're probably going to want to destroy this too because it's going to be in the way. That's okay though. You can always build more trees around it. But it is nice to have a little area that I feel like brings me down to Earth. You know, on Skyblock, sometimes you're going to feel like you're on just another planet. And I'll turn the rain off in a second here. I just, I don't know. To me, I, I have the noise so far down that it's like super duper quiet. But I know for some people it can bug them a little bit. And I get that. Okay. So we'll go back a little bit, like over to here. Something like this. And I want to make it a little bit higher. Okay. And then we'll go over to here, and then we'll probably put the corner like right there. So a decent sized house. I'm not trying to build anything absolutely insane. And it may not actually end up looking like this, because I had I had this idea in my head for what I wanted to build. It's kind of like a jungle igloo, <laughs> if that makes sense. I am not really too sure if it does. We'll find out. Okay, right. And then I'm just going to put like these here so I can put some diagonal blocks. These are just temporary placeholder blocks, okay? And uh, the front and the back, it's going to be a little tricky. I, I, they all need to be the same height. 
which that's kind of the tricky part. So, hmm, we could try it like this, but the roof's gonna end up looking really weird. We'll at least make the front and the back, uh, or the front even and then the back even. So I just had like the strongest urge to sneeze I think I've ever felt. You know, you, you know when the sneezes come on quick and you just you, you can't hold it in, man. You just can't. Sometimes you just got it. You got to sneeze. And one trick, hey, if you ever feel like you lost a sneeze and there's something like a bright light near you, stare at the bright light. Like if you're sitting in the classroom or wherever you are, or you're sitting in a lecture hall, if there's a bright light in there, literally all you have to do is when you're going to sneeze and you lose it and it's like, oh, you know, it's kind of unsatisfying, stare at a bright light and for some reason it will make you sneeze. Why? I have no idea. I don't know the physiological functions behind why that happens, but it, it works, man. It works, I promise. Okay, so like I said, it's going to be a little bit tricky because, you know, we're like, you know, getting to the point where now it's not even, but I believe we can still make it work and look okay. I have, I have a few ideas. Because yeah, the back and the front, you see how they're not even? Um, we could technically do like some sort of roof, like a thatched roof up here, or we could just boom and just pop it up like that. And that means the back and the front. Now this doesn't <laughs> this doesn't exactly look like I had planned, but you know what? It is what it is. I am gonna have to go grab a few more buildy things like some fence and some trap doors, which I believe we have a ton of. Yep, fence, trap doors, buttons, stairs, slabs, all the works. I doubt we're gonna need ladders, and I think we have everything else. Okay, so again, I I, I want to make it look somewhat not like a bungalow, but like a. Uh, I don't know, but I do know on the inside, I am gonna make it one level, which means we're gonna have to put some sort of floor material in here sooner rather than later. I want it to feel like it's kind of going into the mountain, if that makes sense. Maybe, possibly, potentially. So like this, right? And then this will have to go down to, I think the floor will be on this level, so everything below, kinda like this. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go, man. We'll figure it out as we go. Now, I don't know. I guess we'll do two here and then kind of follow the same pattern because I, I think that was about where it was, right? Somewhere about there. Okay. And a few more blocks. And then, like I said, I want to fill it in to be at this height because the floor, you'll, you, you'll be able to see these walls if that makes sense. So hopefully we have enough mossy cobbles. Oh, that's right. We sold, we sold the Wither Rose kit, so we're actually fine. We are 100% fine. We may have enough right here. Oh yeah, dude. It's always <laughs> it's always so satisfying when you have right about the right about enough. Um, now, as for a floor material, I feel like moss would be cool, but I, I don't know inside of a house, right? Like, eh. you know what? No, it's it, it's an earthy vibe, man. It's it's supposed to be kind of earthy. So we'll try this. Okay, go ahead and put this as the floor. I'm kind of building this in a reverse order. I'm building the floor before the walls, but it's okay. I just wanted to make sure I kind of had the structure understood by everyone watching. And I believe if we still have some, oh, we need to buy a little bit more. Where was that in here? Yes, yeah, so we'll buy another stack. We might need a little bit for the outside. If we have mossy stairs, which we do, what I want to do is I want to go around this whole thing with a layer like this. And I'm going to make the walls a funky kind of, I'm not sure because the walls don't really have a lot of texture just because they're on the same level. So it may make it a little bit tricky. Did we? Yeah, we might as well just go up one. It doesn't follow the pattern exactly with the ground, but it, it'll end up looking better. And then I don't know how to do the roof here. Like I genuinely, I, I'm not trying to be facetious. Okay, I just don't know. Maybe we'll go up like this. Sure, just to give it a little bit more of a point. Maybe that'll be easier to work with and then the same thing here. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I'll go ahead and knock those bad boys out. Okay, come here, come here, moss blocks. Okay, so it looks almost like a jungle temple, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Honestly, man, I, I'm not sure, but it is it is what it is, right? It is what it is. So I want to go in here. It may be kind of weird, but I want to buy... Oh, those are a thousand bucks each. 64k for a stack. Okay, well, we're going to buy... We're going to spend all of our money on hay bales. I guess because you can just get hay from them, so... They don't want you like cheating the system. So if the walls are made of thatch, I, I feel like the roof should be made of thatch more than anything. So what I'm gonna do, hmm, maybe I'll place it like this. And I want it to hang off one block on the edge, like this, if that makes sense. And then we'll have to do another one here. So we'll just put one down. And I don't know, 
You can hate me in the comments if you think this looks weird. I, I, th I think personally it'll be kind of cool, right? I feel like with roofs, I always end up doing kind of the same thing. So I wanna, yeah, we'll do the same thing here. We're, we're gonna have to fish so much more to get enough money. We can sell the blue orchid kits for probably like 150K, something like that. Do you guys think maybe? I mean, I don't know. I think 150K because a wither rose kit was um, 250K. And like a blue orchid kit is still really, really good. And I got it for free just from fishing. Like, I mean, the, the server's awesome, dude. It's so awesome. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a little tricky there, right? Because the, I think we'll just go up one more on this layer like this. This is gonna be an interesting looking roof and I'll line it with uh, jungle wood, I think. Yeah, something like this, okay. I, th I think I actually really like this. I mean, it definitely gives off a nice jungle-ish vibe, which is cool. Okay, then up here, it's gonna be like this, maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it come to a point up on top. Okay. And then we just have to copy the same pattern, just kind of inversely going down the other way. Cool, okay, so something like this. So if I have to end up buying more hay bales, I will, but hopefully not. Okay. I'll be back when I'm done. You guys saw me build half the roof. I'm not going to make you watch the other half. Okay, nice. Yeah, we actually had just enough uh, to complete this. Okay, it's looking good. Uh, I don't like how the top doesn't taper as much, so I may end up slicing a few blocks off here. If we had a hoe, which I'm pretty sure we do, it'd make this quicker, but I'll go ahead and break it off by hand just to give it that kind of... Because otherwise it doesn't go like in towards itself enough. So I think if we break these ones, it'll add a little bit more texture. Oh, add a little bit more texture. Okay. Yep. There we go. Nice. And then I want to go ahead and line it with some jungle wood. I think that would look kind of cool. Maybe this would mean the roof is too big, but I don't think so. We'll do it and we'll kind of see how it looks. And if it ends up looking weird, giving off weird vibes, then we'll go ahead and change it. But I think it should be pretty good. It's kind of cool to have a, th to, to have a thatch roof. And it's an inter interesting design because usually roofs do the opposite and they'll either go outward, you know, from the top, but this one goes inward from the top, which is kind of cool. So instead of outward, we have the opposite. Okay. Now, as because because from this angle, I mean, it looks somewhat normal, but then you look at it over here and you're like, whoa, dude. So I don't know what to do in terms of how to kind of, you know, meld these roof pieces together. I'm thinking maybe like some jungle stairs, but I don't want it to be too much jungle wood on the sides. I'd like it to be more of this stuff. Uh, so we're gonna need to fish more if we wanna do that. We're gonna need a lot more money. One thing I'll do just to make my life so much easier is I will just put a chest down here with our build materials and I'm gonna go absolutely, okay, we only need one chest, bro, come on. Come on, dude, I'm a little crazy. And then we'll go ahead and put up everything we needed for that. And then I am going to fish uh, we have two extra spots. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay. I'm gonna fish for a while. I'll come back in a bit I'm gonna make it rain again. Super simple to do hop in the boat and now we fish I guess before we do all this we could try to flip those kits We got from the treasure chest and I guess we're not technically flipping them uh, But let's sell all this stuff and just see what we can get um, Okay, so not that much buddy not nearly enough to buy all the uh, all, all the hay we need for the sides. But like I said, if we go in our PV1, I believe we have three blue orchid kits. Yes, we have three of them. So if we do auction hand, so we did 150, we'll, we'll do 150,000. And we'll do the same message. Uh, we'll do um, 3x blue orchid and then put an S on it to make it plural. Good price, I swear. I promise. Heart, 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 heart. I see, I don't even have a chat color because I don't have a rank, but let's see. Will they sell, potentially? That would be, what, 450K? That'd be a good amount of money? I don't know. I either way, look, we're gonna have to buy this at some point, so we might as well buy it. It's 64K for one stack. Oh, I thought it was 25K for some reason, oof. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I do, you don't want to spam the messages because that's against the rules, so we'll wait. Or the sugar cane, not the sugar cane, the beet. The beet. Bruh. The nether wart has not grown yet. So I'm just going to fish while I wait. If they sell, um, I'll come back with a bunch more money. Okay, we sold one. Yo, we just sold one. Let's go. Okay, that means we can buy two stacks. 
I don't know if we need two stacks, but that should be good. Now, as for how this is going to work on this side, I think I'm literally just going to do the same thing. And uh, yeah, it is a little bit tricky because of <laughs> because the roof doesn't match up. So that's kind of what I was talking about, about it being a little bit weird. But honestly, we can just make it like that. It's okay. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. It does match up at some point, but I don't remember at what point it matches up. I'm not super duper worried about it. I don't think either... I don't think anyone on the server will, will be like, Neo, your roof looks whack, dude. And I'll be like, hey, that's mean. Don't call my roof whack. Okay. Like I said, then come over to here. Like, I think we did it too right there. Yep. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. I think we brought it over to that block right there. Yep. And then go ahead and switch it up. There we go. Now, we can texture this to make the roof look a little bit better. I, I have the trap doors for a reason. I think those will actually really help set it off. For example, like on this block where it's kind of weird. Throw a trap door on it. Throw a trap door on it. Uh, how is this one a little bit different? Okay. Oh, okay. We brought this all the way over. Hmm. But what if we didn't? <laughs> what if we just... No. You know what? I, I think that looks a little bit better. So, we'll go ahead and trap door it off. Okay, cool. Nice, and then on this side, it's not a problem. Okay, so now it looks like a nice thatch roof. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't know. Maybe it needs more jungle wood? I, I I don't know, but something about it is is giving me off vibes. It just doesn't look right. And I think I threw my last diamond hoe off the side. Actually, I'm almost certain that I did. Okay, we'll try something out different here and we'll see how it turns out because you know, maybe maybe we can save it Maybe we can save it uh, It's a little weird too because we we have to go from the middle two blocks, but it should be okay Okay, so we'll try this with the middle two changing out to be Oak logs or no oak planks Okay Please don't look weird. Please don't look weird. I think this one will look fine. Um, <laughs> it's better, but I think I think I actually know how to fix it. That's the thing with builds. I don't know. I've built for so long that like I know when something looks bad, and this definitely looks bad. But I think it's salvageable. If not, we can have someone come help us potentially. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if any of the good builders they know are online at the moment. Yeah, definitely <laughs> definitely needs a little help. Okay, so we have a ton of these slabs, and maybe maybe what it's missing is the texture on the roof, because the roof does look definitely very flat. So what if we go around and like every other we kind of just put some slabs like this? I'm not sure that could help, or maybe I'm just making the roof look too bulky. Let's see. I don't know about that, Chief. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Gosh. You know, for once, even after kind of playing playing around with it off camera, I'm not sure if I can salvage this bad boy. Let me let me just go look at some other stuff for a while and then kind of, you know, reset my brain. Let me close my eyes. Do a little bit of stretching. Okay. And then we'll, we'll just walk over and just kind of see it naturally. Actually, no, it, it isn't that bad. It actually isn't that bad. I, I, I think I think I'm giving myself too hard of a time here. And I also know I think I know what fixes it too. I think we need to put stairs on it. It is weird because yeah, there's not a ton of texture, but I think we can fix a lot of it and make the roof have more uh I'm not sure the word. Yeah, that already looks a heck of a lot better. Okay, so we'll do that on both sides. But then beyond that, I'm not sure what else. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I just kind of know these things and other times I definitely don't. Yeah, because I, I don't want to put like a stare on those. I think that would look a little... Uh, would it look weird? I mean... No, actually that, that actually looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, so we'll go ahead and follow that pattern down. Okay. Nice. And we need stairs for the back of it too. I believe I have more stairs. I don't? I don't have more stairs? Stairs? Okay. Put them on the back side. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, just like that. That looks good. Okay, now we just need to. Now we just need to not touch it. I, I think. I mean, that definitely looks a lot better. 
Okay, so let's get to the actual meat and potatoes of the build. You're like, Neo, what are you talking about? Okay, it's something we say in Oklahoma, okay? Just, just don't get on to me, man. Maybe it's not something we say in Oklahoma. I'm not speaking for all Oklahomans, okay? Maybe it's just something I say. We'll put some upside down stairs here. We'll, we'll give her the proper treatment, I assure you. We'll give her the proper treatment, I assure you. Do I really not have any? Oh, I do have stairs. They're just in my inventory. Okay, then we'll go ahead and put the moss down here. Boom. And boom. I am curious too. How close are we to the P mission playtime? Okay, yeah, we're not even halfway there. <laughs> so we, we probably will not complete that one in this episode, but it's okay. And then a cool thing I learned too is jungle trapdoors are really see-through. So they make a really nice window. You know, obviously if you're using a thatch roof, you probably don't have access to like formed glass. You know what I mean? Like you, it's it's not, not like a primitive build, but you're using what you have around you. Um, so what we'll do... Ooh, yeah, this is a little tricky. I kind of forgot about the sides here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, the roof the roof just just you know kind of hangs over it, it does bug me that it, it, it's like that in the middle but I don't really know how else to solve it maybe we could put like a log support on the side but would that look just strange um I mean it's let's let's leave it for now but what I need to figure out is how in the heck am I gonna do a freaking wall like it, it, I could do the whole thing out of trapdoors, but like it's gonna be huge. Let's try it with trapdoors and we'll see how it ends up looking. Maybe it'll look okay. Okay, so that should be good. Nice. Okay, then we have to. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to craft so many trapdoors. Oh goodness. Okay. Uh, I can't even. I can't even get to that. I, I feel like if I place it this way, it'll open sideways. Yeah, I can't even get to that. Oh, well, I could place it from above here. Then that that only that one is going to be off. But you know what? It is what it is. Sometimes it has to be like that. Okay. Uh. Uh. <laughs> if I put it here, will it open? Yeah, it opens the wrong way. Yeah, so how the heck am I supposed to put these then? I guess I can like stand right next to it and kind of place it. I don't know. That's that's for me to, to deal with. I'll, I'll be back when it's done. Oh, this is difficult. Oh, come on. All right, cool. You know what? This didn't actually turn out to be super difficult. Um, getting in the, the side. You, nope, it's a moot point. That's not going to happen. So it's kind of like the airflow thing. The rain can't get in here, but the air comes in here and blows through the house and keeps it nice and cool. Um, I do admit that it's going to need a little bit of work on the inside because if you look at it from the inside, it looks whack. Like if you look at this, it's like bruh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a log support right here. Okay. And that'll help break it up a little bit. And then we'll probably put like a log support like right here. I think, yeah, that, that breaks it up a ton. It looks a lot better. Okay, cool. Because yeah, the sides are odd numbered. So we can put a log straight down the middle. Nice. Okay. That already looks a lot better. And then for these little bad boys right here, you can just slab them off. It'll look really good what I kind of learned for uh, if you have raw looking supports inside your home it's kind of a cool area up here I'm not really sure we can ever put it to good use but if we need some reason a bunch of extra area then we have it right there I guess okay so we have all those down yeah the interior already looks a lot better and what's cool too is you can do something like this ah that's right they don't line up so you can't make cross supports <laughs> This is the strangest house I think I've ever built in my in my entire life. Do I like it? Sure. But is it strange? Yeah, dude. It's really, really kind of weird. Um, we could put a log across here even. Yeah, that makes it look nice and like fancy, I guess. And then even do this. Yeah, dude. Nice. Okay. So now we just have a bunch of room where we can put chests and like actually have a proper amount of storage. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab all of the jungle planks that we can make. Okay, and then all the chests we can make, we can make 35, and then I think, if I'm not wrong, we have a bunch in here. I... no, I was wrong. We do not have a bunch. We do, however, have invisible item frames, which means we can organize these, like, super well. So let's go in here. I mean, really, all you need is chest storage. You don't really need anything else in your skyblock house. This is just where you can store valuables or building blocks or, you know, what, what have you. 
So we'll go ahead and just put these down. And then I'd say this is a pretty successful episode, man. We got our first house built, which is nice. Uh, we got a ton of missions done, which is also nice. And uh, yeah, I'd say it's been pretty good. Oh, oh man. Okay, well, we'll have to remember we need one more chest. Just one more. And I'll go ahead and take everything out of here. I'm not going to leave a spam of chests around, I promise. Uh, oh, we have a chest. It's right there. It's, it's, it's literally the one we just... We'll run out here and grab those slabs, I promise, okay? We will not miss those. We'll put a crafting table down. Come on, give me. Give me, give me. Nice. Well, let's go see if the nether wart is ready. And if it is, then we can farm that. And there's a few pieces, so we'll have to wait for next episode to get all those missions done. But yeah, thank you guys for watching episode 6. I do hope that you guys enjoyed. Please do go watch those media creators making Let's Plays on Neo Network Skyblock as well. Again, links to all of their content is down in the description below. I would really appreciate it, and they would really appreciate it if you guys would go and check them out. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone having a wonderful time. I hope everyone has a good 4th of July if you're here in America. If not, ignore that. Um, the secret code for today's episode is going to be... 8024. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Hope everyone has a wonderful time, wonderful day. Bye!